And now, can we talk a little bit about the Heartmate 2, which is yes. a, another um, a mechanical circulatory support device that you've used a lot? What, wh how does it work, and what are what are circumstances okay. where you would use that uh, as opposed to these other devices we've been talking about? The uh, most prevalently used device all over the world, probably more than 8,000 or maybe reaching 9,000 implants all over the world uh, so far. And uh, this is the main frame for us to treat the uh, end-stage heart failure patient, predominantly left ventricular failure patient, as the bridge to transplant or desti destination therapy. And uh, this device is the only device approved by the FDA for both bridge to transplantation and the destination therapy. And how this device would work, here's the other, uh, like a mock of the uh, heart. Then we're gonna put the, this cannula, which is called the infro, to the left ventricle. And then this one has also the fabric graft from, from here. Go to the, a, uh, the aorta. And then there's the impera inside. So the, the impera spinning with such as a 9,000 revolution per minute to draw the blood from the left ventricle, which is the weak ventricle, but the, the most important chamber of the heart, draw the blood from the left ventricle and push towards the aorta. So the kind of the, the taking over the left ventricular function. Mm. Although uh, we don't intend to completely depress the left ventricular function, that is why it's called left ventricular assist device. So it, it sort of gives it a turbo power, some yes. extra power yes. to the, that to is the left ventricular. And, and when you refer to dis destination therapy, that means that that can stay in, can be a permanent uh, or Yes, that is correct. Uh, it's considered as uh, like a permanent one until the patient have a sort of outcome. When we put uh, this device, patient is was not considered as a transplant candidate. But once we put uh, this one, and patient gets better. For example, patient is very was very obese, and we have a criteria to exclude the obese patient and a certain obese patient. But if once we put uh, this device and the patient is motivated and uh, lose weight, and the patient may become a transplant candidate, so that uh, they could be uh, could be listed for transplant and they could get transplanted. So the either continuously on this one and eventually they die, or they may get a transplant. We have depressed uh, this device for the device failure. So it happens, mm -hmm. yeah. But this device fails, but still patient has their own heart. Oh, I see. So that okay. they did not die, they may, they, they did not feel well, and they came, or we had alarm situation, and we assessed the alarm situation, which shows that the uh, device is, uh, or was failed, and we took the patient to the oral sort of urgent or emergency, and then we depressed the device. So you've had people go through multiple, uh, yes. at, least, at least two. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs>